the earth in the solar system the night when one side of the moon is completely visible from the earth is called a full moon night or purnima a night without a moon or a no moon night is called a new moon night in hindi a new moon night is called amavasya the night sky is full of innumerable twinkling bodies these bodies are called stars they are very big and hot celestial bodies made up of gases and emit large amounts of heat and light stars closer to earth appear brighter the sun is the star closest to us clusters of billions of stars along with dust and gas are bound together by gravity such clusters of stars are called galaxies millions of galaxies together make up our universe some stars in ancient times did not twinkle and just glowed steadily these celestial bodies are called the wandering stars today we recognize these bodies as planets the sun the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts these celestial bodies are called stars while watching the night sky you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations one of the most easily recognizable constellation is the small bear or saptarishi sapta 7 rishi sages the sun and the celestial bodies that revolve around it form the solar system it comprises large number of bodies like planets their moons comets asteroids meteorites meteors and meteorites these objects are held together in the solar system due to sun's gravitational pull the sun is a major source of heat and light for all the planets in the solar system planets reflect sunlight that is incident on them they have